In this uh, demonstration, we're going to be using a two and a half inch hose monster with a two inch pedalist nozzle. Um, if we were unable to get a satisfactory drop from static to residual pressure, we would switch to the pumper size and use a larger uh, hose monster or as an option, and we'll show you this after a bit, you can actually hook up two two and a halves, one at this hydrant and one at the next hydrant downstream. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up on the two and a half inch side. It's important to try to keep your hose flat and straight. All right, the next thing we're going to do is grab our case and our flow sensor, which is clearly marked flow sensor. It's the color blue. All these colors match up with the colors that are on our handheld so that you can easily identify them by color rather than having to look for a serial number. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and find this fire hydrant on my handheld. Now remember, this isn't the hydrant we're testing. The t hydrant we're testing is the one down the street. So at this point in time, it's not important for me to necessarily add this as a hydrant because when I come to test this hydrant, I'll be adding it anyway. Uh, so once I'm set up, I simply press next and I'll be able to actually see the static pressure in the main right now. Right now it's kind of jumping around between 57 and 58. Um, I know that's good, so I'm going to go ahead and press start set uh, test on my handheld computer. And it'll say starting test. And as soon as it's activated, it'll say test running. At this point, I can go ahead and start running the water. So what I want to do is open the hydrant fully because part of this exercise isn't only to get good flow data, but it's to make sure the fire hydrant's working properly. So, uh, so I'm going to open it all the way regardless of whether I get a pressure drop of 25% from static to residual before it's even open. So I'm going to go ahead and open it all the way up. Okay, on my handheld computer, I can now see the percent of drop from static to residual. That percent of drop is 14% right now, 16%. When that stabilizes, by pushing the F3, I'm going to capture that data. As soon as I capture that data, the test is still running because I'm keeping track of the amount of gallons we're using. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the hydrant off. This is probably the most critical part. As I start slowing this water down, I want to make sure that I'm closing this hydrant slowly and carefully so I don't cause water hammer. Okay, now the test is done. I simply push stop test and save results. At this point I can enter in deficiencies. If this hydrant were missing a cap or needed to be painted or something on that order, I can slip, simply select a deficiency using the up and down arrows. We allow for the entry of four deficiencies. Um, this hydrant's in pretty good shape, but I'm going to put needs paint. And then I hit next, and I can put in any field notes. If I had special notes I wanted to uh, bring to the office with me, I can type them in here. And then finally, I would put in my name as the operator 
And by the way, once you put the name in, that name will always stay there until the next operator changes it. So I'm going to go ahead and add my name. And then I hit finish. And it'll say saving data, please wait. And then it'll say test successfully saved and now you're done. You've done a complete fire flow test. On our last test, uh, when we flowed, we only had a drop in, in uh, from static to residual of 14%. Even though that's still going to give us pretty good data, um, we're required to get a 25% drop from static to residual. So what we're going to do is flow a second fire hydrant. So the setup's basically the same. We're going to go ahead and attach the hose and our two and a half inch hose monster. And by the way, if for some reason we're unable to get 25% um, drop flowing both of these, which is highly unlikely, uh, we would then switch to using a four and a half inch hose monster. On our computer, under system setup, I can go in and add additional sensors. So I'm going to go into auxiliary sensors in my sensor setup screen, and I'm going to select the orange sensors. Now all of our sensors are color coded, so you don't have to look for serial numbers or try to figure out which sensor is which. This sensor happens to be an orange sensor, so for us that's auxiliary 3 or um, F4 on our handheld computer. So I'm going to go ahead and press F4 and I have to enter a serial number. Now when you do that, you only do that one time and that serial number will stay in there uh, forever. So I'm going to go ahead and enter a serial number and the way you do that is you remove the antenna and you slide the sleeve up and there's a serial number printed right on this label. This one happens to be 110316. By the way, these all have rubber seals in them, so they're completely waterproof. However, if you're taking them apart uh, to change batteries or anything, you should do them with, with dry hands and in a dry environment. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter that number. Okay, so I've, I've entered the new uh, serial number for that uh, sensor. I'm also going to set a time that I want the sensor to stay activated. We do that so that when you're done with the test, the sensor will turn off. It preserves battery life and prepares you for your next test. So I'm going to set this one at about 10 minutes. Now, as you get better at this, and more efficient and if you're using two guys that sensor duration time will shrink dramatically on the flow sensors you probably never have the sensor on more than two to five minutes on the test sensor probably not more than five to seven minutes um, once I have that set I hit configure and test just to make sure the sensor is working and it is and we've got good signal strength and good battery life. So this sensor is ready to go. Again, you only do this once. I would never have to do this again once this sensor is set up. So we're now ready to go ahead and uh, redo our test, but this time using two fire hydrants.